Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Ratku Tarot and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and uh, Scorpio Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for January 7th to January 13th, 2019 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards uh, I want to remind you once again that that is a general reading for Scorpio Star Sign and uh, for that reason is going to resonate differently with every single different Scorpio. So uh, in this video I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread but uh, ultimately at the end you have to align uh, those explanations with your personal situation <clears throat> so you know so you can have the higher amounts of accuracy as possible I will also try to give a couple of examples here just so I can make the things more clearer to you guys but ultimately if you want your situation to be analyzed just like I'm doing for the examples in this video by me of course uh, <clears throat> through tarot that, that then that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services uh, as well as their pricing. This is also going to be an enhanced tarot spread which means that we are going to pull a additional card per position. And so just from the look of it, it, uh, it does seem Scorpio that this is going to be rather very uh, a week uh, which will be floating or overflown with um, over floated, excuse me, uh, with a lot of important deeds that you have to attend to. Now, uh, here, for what it seems with the Justice card, you will have a lot of priorities at your behalf and a lot of responsibilities. And all will come to that how well you manage to, um, to narrow them down so you have the, the time to attend to every single one of them. Now, what is important with the judgment, with the justice card, excuse me, is that you um, set your priorities in a correct order, in a sense of that you set the smallest one first and kind of attend to them, then the most important one, and then the most yearned one, if I may express myself that way. Additionally to the Justice card, we do have the King of Wands, so we do also kind of resemble uh, or go to the ambition. So this is going to be a quite of a ambitious drive of yours to make a, a major improvement, most likely career-wise. Now this is very unlikely to be about relationship, but if it is about relationship for you Scorpio, these cards are pointing a, a very solid move or a very ambitious move of your behalf to regain balance into the relationship as the judge the justice card regarding relationships is all about balance spreading equally the responsibilities that are maintaining one relationship very important for one's family for example you cannot be the only one who does the whole responsibilities into one relationship i mean your wife for example or your husband has to share those responsibilities with yourself and if we're following that example these cards are pointing that that week you will truly show your presence and use all of your influence in there in order to make your double power kind of like your other half which in this case appears to be uh, your partner to basically do their chores it's all about that throughout this week and for what it seems you are going to be able to succeed with it but literally, on a, a general level, these cards are pointing that your uh, your ambition, yeah, and also your sense of uh, of criteria. So you will aim very high, and also you will have the um, what was the English word here, guys? I'm sorry. Um, Well, I just forget. It's on the tip of my tongue. Um, it's not determination. It's very important. I, I will find it. Excuse me. Um, so it's 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 not an urge, but more like. Um, well, I'm sorry, guys. I kind of like I I froze here. Um, 
drive. So I will use the word drive. So you will have the drive throughout that week to expand on yourself and, and make yourself more productive, especially uh, if we're talking about career. And the whole ambition there is to aim yourself much higher than you're doing right now, showing yourself very capable to maintain, uh, uh, to maintain uh, duties and responsibilities and showing that you are not going to crash under the pressure of that those duties and responsibilities are given into you. Uh, so, uh, stimio, uh, well, the word I was, uh, I was searching was stimio. So, you will have a stimo to, uh, to chase that goal because you know what is in stake literally and that will boost your ambition because you will know the rewards are worth it so that could um, kind of manifest itself as a, a very potent project of your behalf or a, a side job of yours that will yield a lot of influence and a lot of resources as well. The uh, next card that we do have here this is going to be uh, the Hermit which is the core of the situation, followed with the Six of Swords, that it is uh, as a, a catalyst. And what these cards here are pointing <clears throat> is that it's going to be a very risky move, or you already did the very risky move that created this opening of yours, uh, which, is a very, which was very intelligently placed. So literally, you did the best you could here in, uh, in the recent past next previous couple of weeks or a previous month for that matter in order to create for yourself the right environment so you can uh, kind of set your priorities as i said uh, in a very accurate spot and through your ambition and as well stimo to uh, to achieve more you will eventually uh, get those rewards that you are after very important here to be acknowledged is that the justice it's about justice itself and not just legal justice but the universal justice meaning that you will reap what you are sown therefore your your efforts are not going to be left unrewarded as well your slack so if you slack throughout this week nothing actually will happen to you or no benefits it will be there for you to reap but if you truly roll up your sleeves and you follow your ambitious drive here to basically be better at your work to be more balanced into your relationship and to aim higher into your career and you put the toils behind it well the justice is going to serve you a, a just cause and as well a, a just rewards here by rewarding you for example with a promotion by rewarding you with a partner you want it for yourself for a relationship or by reward, rewarding you with the job that you have seeking it is very important however to maintain your ambition you should never stop that drive and as well with the king of wands it's important to maintain your positive attitude even if it doesn't happen at the first day of the week whatever you are after you should proceed on into that direction because with these cards eventually is going to happen now the challenges here which are causing predicaments is that we do have the queen of cups with the uh, four of pentacles so what these cards are pointing is to a person and this person actually have you exactly where they want you to be all right somehow you are very comfortable for them into that spot where you're finding yourself at and for her i'm saying her because this is the queen of cups but it, it very well could be as well a male so for that person it's kind of very how can i place it un inconvenient you to uh, you to do something different than they have anticipated. I mean, they have you in their comfort zone here, and if you move sideways from that comfort zone, it is likely that they will not support you at all. So, uh, literally, what the predicament here is going to be is that by you feeding up your ambition and being better into your career by taking on a, a different projects, for example, or. Uh, <clears throat> 
you know, establishing better harmony, uh, balance, excuse me, not harmony, but balance into your relationship, uh, that will place this person into a uh, uncomfortable position because they will not anticipate that and they will not foresee it. And that could very well be your partner. I mean, they have you where they want you, you know, down, brought down in your knees, doing everything they want you to do. But as I said, you slammed it on the table when you say, you know, this cannot continue any further and we have to do something about the chores here because I cannot be the only one who does all the chores into that relationship and you do nothing there instead of, uh, you know, sitting and, and, uh, and entertaining yourself with whatever you want and that will cut them off guard and you may expect some emotional outbursts with these cards here as causing of the predicaments as well they may make they may try to make you feel guilty of what you're trying to do here by trying to exploit your emotional state and as well your emotional connection with them because it's not like this person doesn't connect with you emotionally, meaning they don't love you, quote-unquote, because that may not be a romantic love. That could as well be your uh, parent here that does not want you to move away from the house, you know, but you realize that in order for you to maintain your, uh, to, to be basically to grow, you have to move away. And the risky move here was you're searching for a place to stay or for a place to rent. And as soon as they realize that you are to move away from the house, you know, they're making those dramas, those dramatic scenes and actions, and they're trying to, um, to put you guilty of that you are abandoning them and etc etc we all know that you know so uh, it is important here at the end of the day to uh, because the justice is all about accountability toward oneself is to act the way that you think is right for yourself and not the way that these people think it's right for you no different than the mother and the children I mean the mother always thinks that they know what is best for their children even if their children are 33 years old just like me so for that reason as you do have your personal free will now it's time for you to make that decision how you should proceed with your life because for example your parents gave you life but it is your life to decide with not theirs and uh, <clears throat> as well you should not kind of like uh, have a second guess or second doubt which uh, with the direction you wanna you wanna go forth with because as I said it is quite intelligently made and it is really a, a wise move of your behalf to jump outside of uh, I could say known waters or rather like of the um, of the shore that you are finding yourself at and explore really here a, a new horizons now the um, Guidance card, that will be the Nine of Swords with uh, the Queen of Swords. So what we do have here, Scorpio, for Guidance, it's more like, uh, how can I play? It's again uh, related to priorities, but it is mostly realizing that that was a necessary move of yours or it is about to be a necessary move of yours in order for yourself to force a certain growth into your environment, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. Now, first of all, the Queen of Swords here asks you to be uh, very aware, accountable and forewarned for the, uh, for the challenges and as well responsibility here the throne is representing responsibilities that are waiting for you and in conjunction with the nine of swords it does asks you to overcome the um, the fear of taking those responsibilities if that makes sense to you so uh, the nine of swords it, it, it is kind of like a, a playing role of a necessary steps toward how can I place it toward a direction that you are afraid of taking? But as soon as you kind of make the first step, you see that in reality, there is nothing there to be afraid of. That is further supported here with the Six of Swords because all that action of yours, you know, to either make that detachment or to decide for your own personal benefit, it does look very risky at the start. But as soon as you make the first move, you will realize that in reality, there is nothing there to be afraid of because it was necessary move and very 
a brave move for that matter so you can improve your personal circumstances not to mention here that with these cards as soon as you overcome your fears you will realize that you are very capable to push your things through and to really make that agenda of yours which is based on your ambition happen and with the queen of swords is also a point that you will be pretty much forewarned for the future events here or what the future may hold for you just logically thinking about the situation that you're placing yourself at and that, um, that forewarning is also going to make you forearmed and therefore uh, I think that you will be very well prepared looking at these cards you will be very well prepared of the um, for the kind of like challenges that are yet to come but once again here you uh, with the nine of swords you should mainly depend on yourself and mainly depend on your personal uh, performance now <clears throat> Talking about relationships, as we said, this is, this is going to be about maintaining or regaining back a balance into one relationship, even if this is going to be a little bit rough here because your partner is going to put a an opposition to it. Well, that's no wonder. But in career-wise, these cards could point here to a, a very well-made or very well-found approach toward a project which is going to yield you a, a better results. And that is founded of a risky move you did recently, but a, a move that was not in a lack of intelligence and it was not in, made of a lack of wisdom. Actually, it was a very well-calculated move that you did. And because of that, now you are probably going to get reassigned or you will going going to be given an additional responsibility which are not going to be faced very uh, warmly by a co-worker of yours or in generally or maybe by your partner into your relationship as well because most likely you will have to spend additional time you know working than spending time with them and of course at the end of the day by doing so you have to overcome your fear if in case that's your partner into relationship you have to overcome the fear here that they are going to abandon you for it and and just you know focus more upon the responsibility as I said because they're gonna yield you a, a great result so that was uh, the tarot reading and now uh, going to the uh, Lenormand card reading now what the Lenormand is about to show us Scorpio is a uh, event that uh, you should either look forward to or try to avoid All right. So the first one that is going to be uh, the <clears throat> the ship, and the ship is associated with traveling, is associated with risk taking and venture as well. As we said, there will be some risky moves, or so you already made those risky moves. Then we do have the clover. The clover is associated with small amounts of luck and also a, a small amount of of progress. And the last one, this is going to be the. Uh, the bucket and the bucket is associated with benefits, with gains, and as well with a um, with gifts. All right. So these cards could be interpreted as that f uh, from abroad or, or from afar, a small gift is gonna be given to you, like from uh, um, your partner into your relationship if they are traveling somewhere they may send you a, a certain gift or, or if you do have long distance relationship that person from a long distant co distance could send you a, a small gift but the way I see them more generically is that a, a risky move here is going to which was a with a, a small amount of bet in a sense of that the risk was very small is going to yield you a much better results than the risk itself was worth it so you basically kind of killed two rabbits with one shot or two birds with one shot i don't know how you say it in english we say in england or in america we say it here two rabbits with one shot so literally basically when you feed up your ambition here and you allow yourself to do what's what is best or kind of like what you think is righteous and best for you even though that will place you to explore new shores that will actually pay off big time for you guys so Scorpio just be brave to uh, to ask or not to ask but to do um, 
and decide in favor of yourself this week even if that is gonna hurt someone else's feelings right because ultimately if you don't take care for your own happiness guys and for your own growth no one else is going to that's the sad and simple truth so that being said Scorpio this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for January 7 to January 13th 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and once again that was a general reading for Scorpio star sign and for that reason it's going to resonate differently with every single different Scorpio. You can try to align it uh, to your personal situation just like I did for the examples in this video and if you want me to do that for you to analyze your situation through Tarot just like I did for the examples in this video that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find full list of my services as well as their pricings. Rat signing out now, see you next time, bye!